me feeling like I'm academics. Uh, we'll probably get to the Cairo being arrested. Lucky Live Nation show. We're not going to be doing the daylight drill shit. Elon Musk, Neuralink, and we still have Dwight Howard's sexual um, assault. Civil lawsuit being thrown out. And we have London on the track. Uh, we did the Boss Man D-Lo thing already, but now y'all added 6 9 and Lil TJ to the mix. Maybe I'll do the 6 9 topic now, right? I think, I think we could bang that out real quick. All right, cool. Anyway. Let me give you the short, okay? So, my boy Six Brown, aka Six Nine, has cut his hair, and now this is how he's rocking out in the streets, okay? Now, if you guys don't know, he was dating previously. Um, Six Nine was dating Annie Wells' baby mama, Yailin, okay? So, Yailin. Is this girl here, which is Annuel's baby mama? This is a picture of of Annuel with her. She had a baby for him, and six nine, you know, who doesn't like Annuel, ended up wifing her after Annuel left her. They obviously had some domestic violence situations. We watched this before, and I'm not gonna lie, the most egregious stuff was I think, you know, I keep saying six nine is th this is a really maniacal nigga. You'll see him holding everybody's baby but his. He'll be pushing. By the way, that's Anwell's baby he's pushing. Like, remember, Anwell, I'm going to be honest with you. I think Anwell want to kill him. When I interviewed Anwell, that nigga showed up with 60 people in a tank downstairs. I think he thought I, I was going to have 6 9 pop out of a closet or something. He don't like 6 9 6 9 don't like him, right? However, this is how you know, like, 6 9 is the same nigga who was terrorizing rap. 6 9 is here pushing the nigga's child, bro. By the way, women, y'all got to stop being pawns, bro. I'm sorry to say. Like, 6 9 my guy, but, like, Yalin, what the fuck are you doing? Why would you ever have your child, like, as a pawn around 6 9 when her father is and well? It's not even like, 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 her father is some bum-ass nigga. Like, her, her father is and well, one of the biggest and most lit Latin artists. And even if, like, he's not in her life now, like, bro, like, that's something to be proud of. Like, your father's a great man. Why the fuck would you have 6 9 fucking playing up with, with that man's daughter? Right? Like, that's some clown shit. If you want to go fuck 6 9 go fuck 6 9 and leave that, that girl out of the, the situation. I, I really, I sincerely think women who do that are just, like, despicable. Don't use another man's child when you, when, by the way, you know there's an angle there. I don't care what 6 9 tells you or... How much he's manipulating or gaslighting. Not saying he is, but... And by the way, this is the past because they're not together. Why the fuck would you have your child, which you share with another person who's lit, who helped give you your fame, and you know that person don't get along with 6 9 Why would you have 6 9 like, even, like, playing with... Like, why would you do it? That's just dumb. Anyway... Apparently, you know, there's a long story to it. They say uh, um, Yailin, which is this this girl, she was, um, you know, they said that, oh, Anwell used to physically assault her or, you know, whatever. And that's why she was getting back at Anwell by being with 6 9 right? So she was getting back at Anwell because supposedly he used to beat her ass. And even though they got a kid, she felt away because, like, you know, whatever, 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 right? Now, after this whole thing in DR, and by the way, there's so much to it. Like, the Spanish version of me is a nigga named Alofoque or something like that. Well, not something like that. It's Alofoque. Apparently, you know, 6 9 started beefing with the girl, right? 6 9 started beefing with Anwell's girlfriend because Anwell's girlfriend has the blog nigga. Like, imagine, imagine Offset is with Cardi B, and Cardi B has an academics tattoo. And then Cardi B's like, oh, no, I still, I, I fuck with Ak. Not sexually, but I, I fuck with Ak because Ak was one of the first niggas to post me, right? That's essentially what happened here. The biggest blog nigga who helped put her on, she has his name tatted. 6 9 hates that guy for other reasons. That guy's been trying to call 6 9 a fraud, a rat, call him out on the shit. And the girl that 6 9 is dating has the dude's name tatted. By the way, I don't think that guy's ever been sexual with him. 6 9 like, it, it, she's now in this, like, triangle, even though it's not a love triangle because she ain't fucked the other guy, but it becomes really difficult. 
they get into some fights. You know, the police had arrested her at Six Nine's residence in the third. And then apparently, like, they went down to DR. There was some other shit. Six Nine got caught. Anyway, the main point is this Yailin was seen as the woman who got her get back on a guy who, according to the culture there, used to beat her in a relationship because she dated his op. Now, I really hate that. You're a clown of a woman. I don't care what woman you are. If you ever link up with a ex-boyfriend, an ex-husband, an ex-op, you're a clown. You're a piece on a chessboard that's called a pawn. You are undoubtedly a clown, right? So I don't care if she's like, I always thought it was clownish behavior. Yeah, you linking up with a guy who that's that's my friend, but that's clownish behavior. I'm sorry, right? Cool. Apparently, they now broke up. And you know, 6ix9ine loves all the bullshit. So what 6ix9ine has done now, there's two things that's happened. Ironically, the sex tape between 6ix9ine and Annuel's girlfriend has leaked on Twitter. So there's a video on Twitter of 6ix9ine fucking her and two other bitches. Like having an orgy with them. So as soon as they break up, that leaks. How does it leak? I don't know, right? Now, 6ix9ine posed up with another girl on his Instagram after he cut his hair, and this is his new, you know, whatever. Apparently, this is why I say 6ix9ine is a very sick guy. What I mean, like, you know, he's just a maniacal guy. Because 6ix9ine was just playing house with the Yailin girl. Playing with her baby, acting like a stepdad. Now, 6ix9ine is seen with this other girl. Now, this girl, her name is La Per La, uh, La Perversa. Okay? Now, you don't really need to know what she does or what about her music. And by the way, 6ix9ine did drop a song with her. This is the song. Here's the main thing this girl is a op of the of 6 ix ex. So essentially, 6 ix are slang and dick wherever it's convenient to create drama. Like, you know, and that's why I think these women are clowns, right? You're going to have your child around 6 9 Bro, 6 9 is, look what he did to the rap game. That nigga is literally just chilling with you and he's, he's going to fuck you and buy you whatever the fuck you want just to get an and well. And you let your kid be used as a pawn. Then y'all break up and then what does he do? He goes and takes a picture with your op and does a video with her basically clowning you. And, of course, for 6 9 is a net positive because he's super viral. Trust me, like, in the, in the, in the DR, they love 6 9 You would think he's not even Mexican. Um, so it works for 6 9 but all y'all just look like clown and pawns. And that's kind of where I'm at with it because I'm looking at it like, bruv, you know, 6 9 is is a hell of a guy, bro. The dedication, the, the ability to convince people despite them seeing other shit. Like, 6ix9ine has infiltrated the DR market and basically gotten his way. And I got to salute to that man for it. But I think the women who are associated, who are being pawns, I think they're clowns. From Yailin to this girl to all of them. Y'all are clowns. 6ix9ine is going to always live in the clout land. And he's, his clout is never going to go down because he knows how to work the shit. Like, trust me, I know, I know this nigga. This nigga's a pro. But y'all, straight clowns. I got to be honest with you. <laughs> got to be honest with you. Okay? Anyway, that's the new thing. If y'all want to go look up sex tapes, y'all go look it up. Um, but that is the latest. He's w not, I don't even think he dating this girl. I think he did it for a video. But he linked up with his ex's op to make a video. It, it, it's This is the equivalent of um except you know well the first equivalent of him of him being with Yailin is when he got in bed with Trippy Red's ex Alex right and then imagine him and Alex actually date for a year or two and then people like him being with Alex and now he's going to get rid of Alex and he finds Alex's biggest op say I don't know say it was bad baby and he gets with bad baby you know what I mean it's it's, it's like kind of messy like that you know what I'm saying Anyway, he's still doing his thing, and um, fuck it. You know what I mean? <laughs>
you know, he dropped a, a hip hop song recently. Uh, the song did, you know, it popped up. His views looked ugly just because it didn't look regular like what 6ix9ine numbers is. Is that actually. What's up? What's that? Oh my God. Look at this fucking video. Jesus Christ. I can't even play it. Even though this is on YouTube. But it's at 2 million in six days. We, we're used to seeing 6ix9ine at like in six days a week, at least like 5 million or 10 million, right? And really, the reason why is it's got age restricted. Like, if you watch the video, it's softcore porn. Look, like, you know, they're showcasing people in bed, people in the shower, people thrusting. Like, this is like a sex tape, like, for the most part. You get what I'm saying? Um, and, and the other half of the video is just in a strip club. What's up? You know what I mean? So that's why the views look like that. I'm actually surprised he even got 2 million views on, on an age restricted video. Uh, what's very clear is that 6 9 still has clout. Um, what's not clear is if the clout means the music will be as effective or he just still knows how to market and maybe it's not about the record anymore, which, you know, I've always said 6 9 skill was never... You know, not saying he didn't make amazing music. I love his music. But his best skill I always knew was marketing. He knows how to be the topic of conversation and control the conversation. Really smart guy. I got to be honest with you, right? Anyway, oh, and, and then the last end of that is that um, 6 ix ex, which is now Yailin Garcia, which is Anya Wells' baby mama, she, I guess after 6 9 linked up with her op, She's now linking up with 6 9 op. I don't even know if this is 6 9 op, but Lil TJ. Here we go. So this is Lil TJ putting a chain on um, Annuel's baby mama, a.k.a. 6 9s ex that he just broke up with. And this is kind of like a direct retaliation because 6 9 just started fucking. He stopped fucking with her and started fucking with her, with her op. So I guess she's like, all right, I'm going to fuck with your op, which is Lil TJ. Okay. Just having his way. He's just looking like, yeah, nigga. <laughs> that nigga don't understand one word of, of Spanish, nigga. <laughs> That's the music she makes. Show this. This is how black niggas be when they when they be around when they got a Spanish joint or you like a Spanish um joint. <laughs> You're like Spanish man. You when they sp playing Spanish music? Oh man. <laughs> Yeah, he gonna be punching dick in her, man. I I, I know. Oh, no. Yo, this is why you gotta pick your baby mama wisely, man. You know, these chicks not even loyal to to respect to be like, hey, I have a child with somebody. I would never want my child to look at me as some type of pass round thing. Like, oh, mommy was just trying to mess with every guy who daddy didn't like. These women have no shame. There's no shame at all. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> Unfortunately, I hate to say it, man. Some of these bitches only good to fuck, bro. I'm sorry to say. Like, I know it sounds crazy when I say that, but like, bro, they only good to fuck, bro. Like, bro, there's no value in them, bro. Like, come on, dog. Like, they're just chasing dick to dick. Disgusting. Okay, anyway. All right, so that's that topic. Uh, let's see.